Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I want to show you my latest template. This one is a field sales app made with Glide, the no-code platform. And basically with this template, you can record sales by agents on the field and generate beautiful sales reports. The main features are it has a very simple interface to record customer interactions on the field. You can generate sales reports filtering by date, range, location, and agents. You can show even maps displaying the exact locations of all the agent interactions. Show the top performing locations either by state or cities. Show top performing sales agents like overall throughout the entire organization or per state and city. And because the whole thing is made with Glide, it's very easy to customize the interface, the branding, and even the logic to suit your specific requirements, all without coding. And because it's a progressive web app, uh, that means that you can use it both on desktop and mobile, both Android and iOS, without having to install anything from the App Store or the Play Store. This is a great example of what can be built with Glide. Now, if you want to get this template, you can get it for a 50% discount at glumo.com feel sales app now let me show you how the template works here we are inside the glide editor where the app was created and you can also customize it and we have three tabs on top one in the middle the one in the middle is the layout this is where you can see all the components and how they were created and you can also modify them then you have the settings where you can change the appearance of the app the name the different colors etc and then the privacy sharing and then you have the data where all the data tables are stored and we have a lot of dummy data just to showcase how the app works so we have a bunch of sales agent customers all the states in this case in the united states a bunch of different cities we're selling three products on the field right now this could be used by a telecommunications company that is selling internet or mobile plans on the field and then the price of the actual products you have, of course you can add as many products as you want to and that would be taken into account inside the sales reports and with this if you were to log in as a sales agent on the field in this case we're logged in as Janice Barnett uh, you would basically just see a one screen where you can record your interactions with customers right you can enter the date uh, and then you can uh, select what state you are in and then which city you're uh, working on. And if the city is not there, you could always enter a new city and then the actual address of the customer and then the outcome of the visit, whether the customer is not available. And if it's uh, available, whether you got uh, no sale or whether you made a sale. If you made a sale, then you can select an existing customer or you can also enter a new customer and then I mean, in this case, you can have other variables like, well, how was the data coverage for that area, bad, good or not, and then the actual product that was sold. And based on that, we can submit our sale, right? And that gets recorded and the sales agent can always access his or her uh, sales and select a specific date range to generate a sales report. In this case, we have a really nice filtering screen where you can just select there today, this month, this year, and you can also iterate uh, one by one in year, in year increments, month increments, or day increments. Let's just select this month. And you can also have other filters based on the outcome of the visit, data coverage, and the product that you were trying to sell. And you click Submit. And you can see here now the total sales for that specific date range, number of customers, new customer sales count, location, visitors. So a lot of information generated uh, from the sales data that was entered by each sales agent. And even a sales map, and this person can see all the sales inside a nice sales map and also see all the interactions and filter uh, through the interactions based on the outcome and also by the date, right? So this is from the perspective of the sales agents, very straightforward input screen to record all visits and all the interaction with customers in the field. And then for administrators, this is where this app really shines, showing reports. What you want to know is how your agents are performing, but not just your agents, which locations are performing the best. So to start with, we have a summary of all sales across the entire organization, and then you can filter again by, let's say this year in this case, and submit. And then you can see all the total sales, the average sales per agent, all the total new customers. And of course, all of this data is generated on the back end, but you could generate other data that was uh, 
useful for you. And this is the beauty of Glide. You can easily customize this. Like if it was a Google Sheet, except it's going to look a lot more beautiful than a Google Sheet. It's a mobile friendly. And then you can generate different reports and different data based on what you need. In this case, you know, total sales makes sense and average sales makes sense. And then total sales counts. And then all the interactions again. 66 interactions in this year so far uh, with all the results of all the different interactions. Everything in green means that there was a sale and if it was red, not interested. And if it was orange, the person was not available at that time. And then you can see uh, three different types of reports, uh, products, which products have been sold the most uh, throughout that date range. The outcome, in which could be the equivalent of a conversion rate. So right now we can see 58% of the times we're making a sale, 23% of the times the person is not interested, and 20% is the customer is not available. And then the coverage, this is just another metric. The metric could be anything that you wanted because you can customize that, obviously, in Glide. And you can see also a nice little report here. Uh, now, if you want to drill down by location, you just click on reports by state in this case, and we can see the top performing state is uh, is Florida, and we can see again the same thing. For this specific date range, we can see also a sales map, and you can see where all the sales were performed. You can either see all the sales in the map view, or you could also simply click on the different view and you would see all the sales as in list mode. And you can see all the top agents. This is really cool. Within any specific state or city, you can see the top agents. So we can see that Yara Pineda is the top agent for this specific location. And you can see how many sales she made in this specific location for this date range again, right? So in any screen, you're gonna have all the data so you can really see and drill down how every agent is performing or how each state or city is performing. Now you can drill down from a state to cities. In this case, Florida, there are eight active cities where there have been interactions. So we can see the eight cities here. We can see the top performing city, which is Aventura. And again, the top agents for that specific city. So you can see very, very powerful reporting features within this template. Now we have a, another uh, report feature, which is sales by agent. And here you can see all the agents across all the organization and all the different locations. They're ordered by the top performing agents. So the top one here is Ruby Macias. And we can see, again, all the different reports for that specific agent. And this is really helpful, obviously, not just to record the sales or the interactions of your agents on the field, but to see, you know, the overall performance and maybe reward the top performers or basically make decisions based upon all this uh, data that is being generated. And the great thing about this app, again, it's fully customizable. You can change it. You can change the logic. You can change the reports. And it's very easy to distribute. All you have to do is basically click share. And then you would copy this URL, or if you upgrade to a pro account within Glide, you could have your own URL and then distribute that URL to all your sales agents. And all they have to do is navigate to that URL, and then they can install the app as a shortcut in their home screen in both iOS devices or Android devices. Or you can also share this QR code for them just to use their camera to access the URL and then install it in their devices. So very easy to deploy and uh, very easy to customize. So a very powerful field sales template, completely made without code using Glide. Again, if you want to access a copy of this template, just go to groomo.com slash field sales app to get a 50% discount. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.